Haley Schell's family directly blames that website for linking their daughter up with this man who they say then lured her to run away from home. I was consistently being forced to do things that a child should not have to do. For many of us, one of the toughest things to do in real life is to meet new people. Have you ever wanted to talk to someone so bad, but you just couldn't muster up the courage to say hi? I know I have, but websites like Omegle make it so easy. Omegle is a video chat platform that randomly pairs two strangers together to talk face to face. Instead of traveling hundreds of miles, someone halfway across the world is waiting on the other side of your screen. With over 60 million monthly users in 2021, this app is popular. But the problem is, Omegle isn't like most websites. You barely need to go through any verification to use the site. I kid you not, I tried going on Omegle. I literally clicked two buttons and right away I was talking with a stranger. And convenience like this comes at a cost. Your safety. Warning, use Omegle at your own risk. How would you feel if someone you've never met before told you where you live? Are you from Paris? Oh my god, can you stop? Please do not use Omegle if it is not safe. That's terrifying. YouTubers like Justin Schmidt rake in millions of views by doing just that on Omegle. Every time you go on Omegle, your location is exposed. This is because the site uses peer-to-peer -peer connection, which means that the person you're talking to has access to your IP address, which is a string of numbers that shows the address of your device. Someone who has your IP can easily track your movements in real life. All they need to do is copy your IP address and paste it on any geolocation website. And just just like that, they know the area you live in. There's even a Google Chrome extension specifically made to find people's locations on Omegle. And there are over 200,000 people using it. Of course, Omegle isn't the only site to track IP addresses. Many other websites track them as well, but the difference is most websites don't publicly expose their users' IPs. And with 30,000 active users at any given time, you're at risk of someone finding out the area you live in. And if you become a target, they could even find out your exact location. But exposing your location is only the tip of the iceberg. The messages you send to other people on Omegle are not private. These messages are stored within Omegle's database. And the worst part? Anyone can access them. In August of 2016, Indrajit Buwan, a security consultant who helped uncover the flaws in WhatsApp and Samsung, wanted to show the world how Omegle handles your privacy. He found that Omegle saves screenshots of your messages in their database, which can be retrieved by anyone. All Buwan has had to do was write a simple programming script and anyone who uses it could download these screenshots. Many Omegle users type their phone numbers in the chat box to connect with a person outside of the website. But as you'll see, this is a big mistake. It's mind blowing to see how lax Omegle is with their security, but it only gets worse. The site promises two strangers to talk together, but what if there's a third person listening to your conversation without you even knowing? My friend, I am Lucid intercepted real Omegle calls. What's wrong? And you don't even need to be a hacker to join these conversations. Anyone with a streaming software like OBS can hijack your calls. And it's fine when YouTubers do this for entertainment, but there's nothing stopping someone shady from listening into your Omegle conversation. And when you consider the fact that thousands of children use Omegle every day, it's a disaster waiting to happen. It's clear that Omegle has a lack of security. The sheer amount of inappropriate content you can find is proof of that. But that's not the only danger lurking on Omegle. As you'll see in our next chapter, there's an entire community dedicated to bullying others. The Hateful Cat Boy. On April 29th, 2019, YouTuber It's Keisha uploaded a video of her experience using Omegle, and it wasn't a good one. Thousands of people just like It's Keisha get thrown insults on the platform every day. They go on Omegle as a form of escape only to find the opposite. Horrible people are everywhere on the internet, but on Omegle, many of these people record their interactions for everyone to see. In It's Keisha's video, something about one of her encounters really stood out to me. We have option Jew, option Aryan, and option 
Where is the knife coming down, boys? The man in the corner of the screen is TB, known online as Catboy Cami. Catboy Cami started off by making prank videos. His popularity skyrocketed when clips of his disgusting behavior on Omegle went viral. He's infamous for wearing blackface while chatting with strangers on Omegle. The Catboy isn't afraid of sharing his vulgar humor with the kids he meets online, and his audience loves it. As you can see from It's Keisha's video, Catboy Cami was streaming his side of the encounter. Hundreds of people in his chat were actively participating in his game that he played with her. It's just insane saying to me to see how many people support this guy. Catboy Cami created a community of like-minded people. These types of creators are banned on YouTube, so they move to other video sharing platforms like BitChute. If you type in Omegle on BitChute search bar, you'll find a ton of these videos. The Catboy may have gotten away with his actions this time, but on Omegle, the things you do can have very real consequences. And in this next chapter, this person made a big mistake and it was recorded for everyone to see. Michael's terrible mistake. Before we talk about Michael's mistake, I want to tell you guys about Brilliant.org. Let's take it back to when I was a kid. Ever since I could remember, I always had a problem learning in school. It always baffled me, right, how some kids don't need to study but ace their tests. That just wasn't me. But I'm here today with this YouTube channel because I figured it out. I needed to learn by doing. Brilliant.org is the best way to learn math, science, and computer science interactively. Brilliant has thousands of lessons and they always add new ones. If you're watching my channel, chances are are you love learning. On Brilliant, you can explore thousands of topics from math to physics to even AI. You can pick a lesson and sharpen your mind in just 15 minutes. I spent time on the writing algebra course because I dreaded algebra in high school, but Brilliant makes their lessons visual so you can actually see how the problems are solved. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash visual venture. The first 200 of you guys will get 20% off off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Click the link to get started and thank you a ton to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Many Omegle regulars go on the site fully aware that they'll see something inappropriate. And after months of being on the site, they get used to seeing these disgusting things, sometimes to the point that they start to do them too. Michael was just 18 when the 2020 event swept the world. With isolation at an all-time high, he craved social interaction. Like many others, he would turn to Omegle to satisfy this need. And thanks to these difficult times, Omegle would become more popular than ever. It would be the meeting place for thousands of people people just like Michael. Michael started off just chatting with strangers, but soon started to do more than that. What was once his need for human interaction turned into a desire for something more intimate. Michael came across many people on Omegle doing inappropriate things, and he started to do things too. Michael would actively look for others who would do it with him. It was the closest thing he could get to intimacy with another person. But as isolation lessened and life returned to normal, Michael quit Omegle. But he didn't realize that his time on Omegle was a big mistake. After a year since his last visit, Michael visited Omegle again. But out of all the people he could be matched with, he matched with himself. What does this mean exactly? Basically, Michael matched with someone who was playing a video on screen. A video of Michael himself doing inappropriate things. For over a year, someone had been using a recording of Michael to trick others into doing inappropriate acts too. While the video of Michael plays, the imposter posing as him would encourage the stranger to join in on the fun. Video recordings like these are known as VCWs. What a VCW basically is, is a program that has recorded footage of someone on webcam. This program has buttons to manipulate how the person in the video acts. If a stranger on Omegle asks the VCW to wave their hand, there's a wave button. If they want you to give a thumbs up, you press the thumbs up. By having these actions on standby, it's a lot easier for the VCW user to trick unsuspecting people to do inappropriate acts. And someone created a VCW of Michael. So why would anyone do this? By using VCW, scammers can secretly record videos of Omegle users users and possibly use it as content on websites made for adults. Even experienced Omegle users can fall for tricks like these. But that isn't the worst part about Omegle because we still have to talk about the site's most vulnerable audience, children. I shouldn't have trusted you.
In order to use Omegle, you have to tick a checkbox that says you're 18 or older. So you tick the checkbox. Congratulations, you're now an adult. And if anything bad happens to you on the site, they make it clear that it's not Omegle's fault. But in reality, these restrictions do absolutely nothing to stop children from joining. Thousands of kids go on Omegle every day, one of them being a young girl who will call AM. In 2014, AM first discovered Omegle during a sleepover with her friends. After a few of these Omegle sessions with her friends, AM eventually felt comfortable enough to go on the site alone. On her first Omegle session alone, she met a man who was much older than her. After chatting with him for 15 minutes, AM was convinced that she made a friend. This friend promised to help AM become a better person. They traded contact information and started texting each other. First, AM's friend asked her to send him a picture of her smiling. And after they grew more comfortable with each other, it turned into him asking for other types of photos. Within two weeks, AM AM has completely fallen into the spell of this criminal named Ryan. Ryan convinced AM that he was doing this for her healing, that sending him these pictures is part of his promise to help her become a better person. Ryan explained that he wasn't forcing her to send him photos, but if she stopped, he would send her photos to her family. Ryan got away with doing these things to young people for four years until he was eventually caught. The police alerted AM's parents after photos of their daughter were found in Ryan's possession. Even though Ryan was sentenced to 10 years, the problem goes deeper than just him. In 2019, AM filed a $22 million lawsuit against Omegle. On Omegle's website, there's a notice that says, Preds have been known to use Omegle, so please be careful. They acknowledge that there are bad people on their website, but nothing seems to be getting done. Talking with strangers can be fun, but all it takes is one person to turn your life upside down. And sometimes it can even be someone you trust the creep who got away. Popular YouTubers bring in thousands of people to Omegle every day. How, you might ask? Well, these YouTubers record their interactions with strangers on Omegle and post them on their YouTube channels. So their audience flocks to Omegle trying to match with them. If they're lucky, they might be that one stranger who appears on a YouTube video with millions of views. My biggest fan. Reed, what's up? Messi? What are you doing? I'm looking for my biggest fan. But here's the thing with YouTubers. Who they are on screen may not always reflect who they are in real life. Matching with your favorite YouTuber on Omegle is a positive experience. But as some fans soon found out, this isn't always the case. One of these Omegle YouTubers is Dragon Nova, a content creator who had over 600,000 followers on YouTube and TikTok. His content consists of him hijacking Omegle calls, usually leading to some laughs. Watch out, there's a big black man. He's gonna jump scare you. <laughs> These videos exploded his channel, gaining him a ton of traction. But in January 2022, Dragonova vanished. He deleted his social media accounts after someone exposed his true colors. Dazed Woozy, another YouTuber who makes Omegle content, revealed Dragonova's inappropriate behavior in a Discord video call. When he exposed his private parts on a Discord call. We see it all the time. A YouTuber gets exposed, suffers backlash, and disappears from the spotlight. Except this time, it was different. Dragonova made a comeback. But what's surprising was that his fans were not upset. They forgave him and even welcomed him back with open arms. Since then, he's been comfortably uploading on YouTube and it seems like none of his audience actually cares. I forgive you, dog. Because of the support, the man behind Dragonova started a new channel. Making the same content as before, this new channel would hit 100,000 subscribers again in November 2022. Other YouTubers have tried to raise awareness about his past, but Dragonova and his fans are acting like nothing ever happened. He even deleted his apology video where he openly admitted to committing the act. But I do believe that some people are capable of change. And I hope that Dragonova truly has. And he got lucky because to my knowledge, he wasn't punished by the law. But as you'll see in our next chapter, criminals don't always get away. Coach Casey. This is Casey. Growing up, he loved baseball. As he got older, Casey's love for sports led him to becoming a coach. He worked as a volunteer coach for Minnesota's East Ridge High School's baseball team. Casey also became a part-time volleyball coach for another high school in the area. Before joining, he completed Minneapolis's child safety training program called Virtues, Protecting God's Children. Casey was a great coach, and the people who worked with him respected him a lot. But Casey had dark secrets. 
Unknown to anyone else, Casey made friends with two girls on Omegle, Jaden and Grace. Jaden and Grace were on the site together when they met Casey. The girls hit it off with Casey and shared their contact information with him and they started texting. Eventually, Casey invited them over to his house. On September 29th, 2014, he picked the girls up from volleyball practice. But that night, they never came home. Casey drove them to his house. He convinced the girls to enter through his basement door. At that moment, Jaden and Grace were suspicious, but felt that it was too late for them to back out. Listening to Casey, they fell into his trap. Casey locked them in his basement. The parents' girls were frantic over their missing daughters, but luckily Casey forgot one important thing their cell phones. Authorities were able to track the girls' locations through their cell phones. This led them right to Casey's house. Thankfully, the authorities arrived before it was too late. Faced with overwhelming evidence, Casey was sentenced to 11 years. So what motivated Casey to do what he did? Through his own twisted logic, Casey convinced himself that the girls were from broken homes and he was doing them a favor. Casey seemed like an average person like you and me. It's just crazy to think, right, that someone that seems so completely normal on the surface could be capable of such things. But on Omegle, we haven't even scratched the surface of crazy yet. The crazy cat lady. Before you start searching for strangers on Omegle, you can set your interests. Let's say you type in cats. The site tries to pair you up with other people who are interested in cats. At least, that's how it's supposed to work. On April of 2020, Omegle users reported being matched with someone who physically harmed cats and showed them lifeless on screen. They call this person the crazy cat lady. The crazy cat lady would set her interest on Omegle to furry, targeting them with her shocking content. But she didn't just stop at Omegle. She knew that she was going viral, so she started her own TikTok account. On TikTok, she even posted her exact schedule to let people know when she would be online. With so many people scarred by the videos of this one woman, the internet wasn't going to let it go. Redditors and Discord users went on an online witch hunt. They gathered all the information they could find about the crazy cat lady and submitted the evidence to the authorities, and no one expected who was behind this. In July of 2022, the crazy cat lady was identified as Crystal, a veterinary student. Someone who was supposed to help animals, but probably got into the veterinary field to do the opposite. When the police raided her home, they found numerous animal parts believed to belong to cats and dogs. She was found guilty in 2021 and sentenced to 30 months. I can't imagine how anyone can be happy doing what she did. I have a dog and I would never do anything to hurt him. But in our next story, this unfortunate person saw something on their screen that was even worse than what the crazy cat lady did because it wasn't to an animal. It was done to a human. It's just a prank, bro prank videos. Love or hate them, they're here to stay on YouTube. And sometimes it's really obvious when they're fake. But on Omegle, it's a lot harder to tell what's real or what's fake. The biggest difference between a YouTube prankster and an Omegle prankster is who gets to turn off the video. On YouTube, you can watch a video all the way through to see the entire prank. But on Omegle, a prankster doesn't always get the chance to tell the other person, it's just a prank, bro. The person you're pranking can click off before finding out it's fake. Omegle YouTubers like Something About Chickens come up with pretty creative pranks. As you can see, class, there's actually a lot we can learn from this person. What? <laughs> That's creepy. Other pranksters push the envelope just a little bit. Look behind you. What do you mean? Oh, oh, what the They really got that man. But what if you saw something horrifying on Omegle and it actually wasn't a prank? On October 22nd, 2013, two friends were on Omegle. Colin, a US Army reservist, and his friend, Cherish. Allegedly, the two wanted to prank a stranger, so when the two matched with a stranger, Colin pulled out his firearm. Thinking that it was unloaded, he fired at his friend, Cherish. That was a huge mistake because he ended Cherish's life. A detective said that someone saw the gun discharge. There was an active chat going on. In the end, Colin pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 8 to 20 years. But till this day, no one knows who saw the incident that happened. No one except that unlucky stranger. And I can't imagine seeing that. We know from these stories that there are twisted people on Omegle, but the chances of you running into one of them has to be pretty low, right? Well, we tested this ourselves and the results are not what we hoped for. The disappointing experiment. 
So my team ran an experiment. I went on Omegle but didn't type any interests. Telling Omegle your interests helps specify the kind of people you want to meet. So by leaving it blank, the site can pair you with anyone. I left my computer on Omegle for one hour and recorded my screen. Within the first five minutes, I was already paired with a man doing things. Right after that was a screen advertising a website made for adults. In the span of one hour, I came across 11 saddening situations. And all of this was without typing in any interests. Omegle paired me with these users by default. Before you go on Omegle, you have to acknowledge that you are above 18. But the problem is, anyone can check that box. According to the site's terms of service, you assume all risks, even if those risks arise from the negligence or carelessness of Omegle. Omegle wants to keep its hands clean, but this only ends up making the site dirty. Even though the site tells you that your video is being monitored, it doesn't stop anyone. Every time you go on Omegle, you put yourself at risk. Because the internet is a dangerous place, not just because of those who do evil, but because of those who look on and do nothing. If you see people online hurting others, report it. Helping one person might not change the world, but it could change the world for one person. Visual Venture. Wait, before you go, click this playlist right here to watch more dark internet documentaries because our goal is 500,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. Seriously, thank you guys for being part of our mission. Peace.